Welcome to the second installment of the GUTFT tutorial series. If you haven't seen the first part yet, you can check it out here. We use the GUTFT tool to send an image to a GUTFT display. Now in this video, we will download and install the GUD 10K evaluation software. We will connect the GUTFT module to the GUD 10K software. We will send text to the display and inspect the bytes that were sent. Now to download the GUD 10K evaluation software, go to your internet browser, type in noritakeelect.com. Now once you're at our homepage, mouse over support, go over and click on tools. Once you get to our tools page, scroll down about halfway. You can see the DUD 10K section. Now, before we go to the GUD 10K page, I do want to point out that the GUTFT driver is required in this tutorial because the GUD 10K software uses a virtual COM port to communicate with the GUTFT module. And the GUTFT driver installs this required virtual COM port. And instructions on that installation are in the description below. Now, once your driver has been installed, you can head on over to the GUD 10K page. And as long as your system meets these requirements, you can click on download. Download shouldn't take terribly long, a few seconds. Once your download has been completed, we have this zipped folder. So we need to right click on it. Hit extract all. And I will be extracting these files to a folder of the same name as the zip file. So I'll hit extract. And it automatically opened the folder that it extracted all the files to. And you should see GUD 10K E3303. So double click on that file and hit run. And the setup wizard should appear. So hit next. You can specify exactly where you want this program to be installed on your computer, but I will keep it at default. Hit next again to start the installation. Installation shouldn't take terribly long, a few seconds. Once the program's been successfully installed, hit close. And you can find the GUD 10K evaluation software by going to the start menu. And you'll either see shortcut to GUD 10K.exe, or you can find it on your desktop as the same name, shortcut to GUD10K.exe. Now before we connect our GUTFT module to our computer, we need to make sure that our computer's USB hub can supply at least 700 milliamps of current. We also need to make sure that jumper JP1 on our GUTFT module is shorted with a pin jumper. JP1 is located immediately to the right of the micro USB port. Now once these things have been verified, you can connect your GUTFT unit to your PC. Now before we start the GUD 10K software, we want to make note of our COM port. So head over to your device manager, expand ports, go down to where you see your USB virtual COM ports. And you may have multiple COM ports like I do. So to find the correct COM port, you wanna right click, go to properties, check the manufacturer name. If the manufacturer is Noritake iTron, then you have found the correct driver. So you wanna make note of your COM port if something goes wrong 
or if we have to put it in manually. Because when you start up GUD 10K and your device is connected, it will try to automatically connect to your device. So I'll start up GUD 10K. And I have no pop-up, so that means that it automatically detected my GUD TFT module that's connected to my PC. Now, if it does not automatically detect it, you'll get a pop-up saying that the COM port was not opened. And you'll have to go to this drop-down menu and select your port. One word of caution, this software does not work with COM ports above 16. So if it's above 16, you need to switch the COM port setting to make it 16 or below. So once you're online, go over to the text entry section and we can erase that and write some text to send to the module. So we can write hello YouTube. And before we hit write, if we go down to user font style and go over the size area, we see that it's a six by eight character size, which on this module will be fairly small. So I'm going to change it to 16 by 32 size which is the highest size that the GUD 10K software can send, but it is not the highest size that the GUD TFT module can use. So once we've set that, we can hit write, and you can see that it's written Hello YouTube onto the display. Now to actually see the bytes that were sent to the display, you can use the code recording feature which records any actions that you perform while this recording is active. So I'll activate it by pressing this button. I'll click write again. It will write hello YouTube a second time and record that action too. I'll hit stop to stop the recording. Everything has been recorded into this text document. You can see that it says it's a character display text command that sent hello YouTube. And this line right here shows the actual command that was sent. It's a PRT command, which is a print command, similar to that of assembly language. Every byte of data here is written in hex format. So 48H is 48 hex, and that corresponds to the H in hello. 65H is 65 hex, which corresponds to E in, in hello, 6C corresponds to L, and so on and so forth. So in this tutorial, we have installed the GUD 10K evaluation software. We connected our GUTFD module to our computer, and we sent text to our module and also looked at the byte code that corresponds with the text that we sent. Now be sure to watch part three of this tutorial and also leave a comment below and be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching.